So now I'm just gonna go ahead and try them. So I'm going to try um, the uh, uh, seed and fruit mix first. So this is the Mountain Mambo. Pretty good. I think it's just like your standard, you know, like fruit and nut mix. It's mainly like sunflower seeds, cranberries, and um, raisins. That's what I'm tasting the most. I don't really taste the chocolate chips or the apples, but it's pretty good. Like if you want like a snack on the go, it's not bad. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try something sweeter now so I can like try the other fruit and seed mix after so I can like contrast the flavors maybe. Um, let's try the chocolate chips. So here it says it's the semi-sweet semi chocolate so I'm assuming that they have some other flavors of them. Kinda. Smells like dark chocolate, but we'll see. I'm having a hard time opening this. Let's try another one. It's actually really, really good. Well, I like them. I like dark chocolate and I do like regular like milk chocolate as well. So this is a good in-between and you can't even taste like the fact that it's like vegan or gluten free. It's actually really, really good. I would probably use this in my baking. I have a feeling that I'm gonna like everything and I'm trying my best not to be biased, but I don't know, like so far. I've only tried two things, but I really like Enjoy Life, so I'm probably gonna like everything. Um. Okay, so we've tried the chocolate chips, we've tried the mambo mix, um, I'm going to try the made good granola minis now. See, I was supposed to have my sisters with me for this because I wanted them to try the stuff with me um, just so you guys see I'm not being biased because they do like a lot of those too as you can see they ate half my stuff. But they're both at work right now, so I'm going to do my best. But if I tell you they're good, I'm being honest because I have tried gluten-free things that taste like absolute crap. And so far, this is not it. <laughs> so yeah, so this is what it looks like. And it's mixed berries, so we'll see. These are good, but I think I would like the berry flavor to be a little more, like I feel like I'm just getting a hint of berry. I think I would have liked it if it was a little stronger, but I think this is something that I would maybe have for like my morning snack or like have it with breakfast or something like that. Cause it's, it's, it just screams breakfast to me. I don't know if I would maybe like the other flavors better, but I haven't tried those. So maybe once I do, I can give you guys feedback on those. Um, okay, now I'm gonna try kind of want to save like the cookies and chips for last because I just uh, I love sweet and salty and like I have a sweet and salty tooth which doesn't help my case but yeah so I'm just gonna have the seed mix now because I kind of want to save best for last well I'm assuming they're gonna be my favorites but we'll see so this one is the beach bash and it's sunflower kernels pineapple apricots and cranberries and pumpkin seeds so I haven't really gotten anything much except for cranberries and pumpkin seeds again but let's try it oh i just dropped it all over the floor this tastes pretty similar to me to um as the mambo but i think it might just be because i didn't get the um apricots and the pineapple but it's mostly made up of like I'm seeing a lot of cranberries and sunflower seeds and that's mostly what I got so I think that with the seed mixes if you are a fan um, 
you can you won't really go wrong any flavor you get they're mostly similar you can have them as a snack I would probably keep this in my purse or something like as a to-go snack if you know you're out and like you know sometimes you go out it's really hard to find gluten-free snacks sometimes so that would be something I would keep in my purse or even just like throw into yogurt in the morning honestly yeah that's that's what I would do so now on to the cookies and the chips. I'm going to try the double chocolate crunchy cookie. Oh, and I forgot to mention that they also have a 75 cents off on the back of them, which is pretty awesome because you can um, purchase, wait, what does it say? Yeah, you can, you can purchase any um, Enjoy Life products and get 75 cents off. It's not a lot, but you know a little goes a long way. And if you're buying them anyways, you might as well. So this is a cookie. There's actually some chocolate chips in it. Let's try it. This is pretty good. It is very crunchy and um, not so grainy, just crunchy. So I guess it's true to its name. I actually like this. I think I would have this with milk. I'd be curious to see if it would like soften up like traditional cookies, but I'm not 100% sure it would. Mm. I'm also a huge chocolate fan. So like that might be why I really like it. But mm, I really like that to stop then I'm gonna go and buy everything and just get that oh see I'm not even telling you guys what I'm trying I'm just eating now um so this is the sugar crisp cookie that I'm trying now I have a feeling it might be similar to the shortbread one from Gaga gluten free but I don't know if I like this Honestly, um, the sugar crisp one kind of tastes like, um, I don't know, I don't want to say cardboard, but it has this weird aftertaste. I don't know if I would buy that flavor again, to be honest. The shortbread from um, Gaga Gluten Free tasted better to me, but I did really like the double chocolate, so if I had to choose one, I would probably go with, um, the double chocolate. This one's like okay. I'm just like trying it again just to make sure it's up. Mm, yeah. It doesn't really. Not that great. So now I'm gonna try the lentils, dill and sour cream lentil chips. These were my sister's favorite. Like, she absolutely loved those. Went back to the store and bought the bigger bag. So um, I'm really excited for those. Okay, so um, I think as you guys can tell, yeah, my camera shut off. So um, the chips are obviously done because I ate them all because I'm huge. <laughs> but anyways, um, no, yeah, I just really, really like them. So um, I would definitely say that my favorites were definitely the double chocolate cookie by Enjoy Life and the Plentils also by Enjoy Life. Um, and um, I would definitely suggest that you guys just I guess try it out for yourself because everyone has different tastes if you guys plan on trying any of those and um, you want to let me know what you thought feel free to do that I will also be putting up a short blog post and I'll probably link it in um, with the video um, or at the bottom of the video and the video will probably also be linked on the blog just like a jot down of all the um, products and maybe where you guys can find them and average pricing for them I do live in Canada so it might defer because you know in the states it might be different or other other um, places around the world but I will still put that up and um, if you guys have any su suggestions for me please let me know because I'm always always looking for gluten-free products I already mentioned this and I'll say it again it's a struggle sometimes so I love trying out new things and just finding new products and I know I still have a bunch of products to try this was just like a little bit but like there's so much more 
Um, and yeah, so if you guys have any suggestions for me, please let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it helped some of you guys. And um, I'll probably see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.